Okay, guys, before we move on to the next statement, I wanted to take a little bit of time just to give you guys a teaching moment, a moment from the experts where I give you real life lessons so that you can apply it for your careers. I've noticed that as I'm developing these lessons, I get many individuals where they're emailing me or commenting me asking us for the code. And to me, it seems that these guys are just interested in the code. And that makes it obvious to me that they want just the solution and they don't want to go through the process of learning what it is that we're teaching. And I want to say that this is a huge, huge mistake. Now, don't get me wrong. Having our code is fantastic. It is code that has taken thousands of hours to develop and it's, you know, proven, it's tested, it works. But if I just take this code and I give it to you, if I take, let's say, my entire framework and I put it in your hands and you take it to your job, I am 100% positive that you will not be able to implement it. You will not be able to know how to control it with an XML file. You will not be able to know how to configure it to an Excel file. You will not be able to know how to link up the function libraries. You will not be able to know how to execute the driver scripts. It's that simple, guys. It's developed, but it's extremely complicated. There are many pieces tied together that you can't just take and start using. You need the core fundamentals. You need all this knowledge that we are teaching you guys right now. This VB script, all the automation methodology, everything that we teach you guys through our lessons, you guys need it. It's something that will make you stand out from the rest of the individuals who are just seeking the quick solution. And I know all of this because I've experienced it. Through my career, I've experienced people that just come into the workplace, they have some code, they apply it, and most of the time it doesn't work. Why doesn't it work? Because a lot of times you can't reuse the same code over and over for different things. You may need to tweak it a little bit here, a little bit there, and they are not able to do so. In fact, I've even had the scenario many times where I show up at a company, I develop a nice framework, and then I grab some of my teammates and I say, hey, here's a framework. Take a few weeks to learn it, and then we're going to start working on it. And it takes them weeks, they don't learn anything. I give them easier tasks, they still don't learn anything. Why? Because they don't have the basic fundamental skills. All they know is their QTP tool, and that's all they got. Let me show you guys this diagram. I want to visually convey exactly what I'm talking about. So there are the real automation engineers, and there are the wannabe automation engineers. These are the guys that are seeking the quick solution, that just want the code, that don't want to go through the process of arriving at the code, and all they have is their QTP skills. And trust me, guys, there are so many people like that out there. So many. Because they probably just get online, do a little bit of research, find some code, and try to apply it to their situation, or just use record and playback. And they are stuck in this place where they know just QTP. Now, the real automation engineer, this is the QTP automation engineer. I should specify that here. Knows QTP, knows VB script, and knows automation methodology. Now, these skills are all important because they lay the groundwork for this QTP automation engineer. So let me give you guys an example. I've been in situations where I've come into a company and I've spent months creating a framework for them and setting it up. And then we will hire some new guys to come in and help me execute the framework. And those guys will learn the framework. You know, it will take them, I don't know, several months to understand it and then to start executing stuff. I can never really trust them to develop any code. I can never really trust them to create any kind of test cases. All I can trust them with is to give them my functions and say, hey, here's my function. Here's how you use it. Please go ahead and just execute it. So in the end result, they just become literal monkeys. 
that sit and execute everything that I have developed or everything that me and some other real automation engineers have developed. And we have these monkeys that just sit and execute our code. And, you know, they may use our keyword-driven framework to construct some kind of scripts and make sure that it runs. And that's it. And why are they stuck with this job? It's not because I don't want to give them more work. Because I do. I want to challenge them. I want to make them better. But I also notice that with the speed of the projects these days, with IT, they're not capable. They can't keep up because all they know is this tool. And when you give them any kind of code to deal with, they don't have these fundamentals to handle what you're giving them. And so they are very expendable. And in fact, I've been in situations where a project ends because a lot of projects do end. They're not, you know, for a lifetime. They may be for a year or two or six months and so on. And the project ends. Who do we get rid of? We get rid of the monkeys because they are not necessary. They are just somebody that executes code. Who do we not get rid of? We don't get rid of the automation engineers because they developed the code. They developed the framework. We require them to maintain the framework, to keep running the automation, and to make sure that our application is constantly improving. Some other benefits that I want to tell you guys about having a full knowledge is that if you imagine, I envision you guys in one of two scenarios. Some of you guys may be manual testers right now that may have noticed that automation is intriguing to you, that you want to use QTP, you may have QTP at your jobs, and you want to start taking advantage of it. Others of you may be completely new to this industry, and you have heard something about QTP automation, and you want to get into it. So let's imagine you're in the first case, and you're a manual tester. I think on the high end, a manual tester, you know, after many years of experience, is probably making about 70K. Now, to go from manual testing to learning a tool and becoming a wannabe automation engineer, it's probably like six months of time. So let me get this tool out. Say to go from here. It takes six months. Now here, you may start after you become familiar and you get some experience with QTP, you may ask for a raise or you may venture out to get an automation position. And there, you know, you may get 75, 80K. And after a few years of QTP automation, you may become good enough that you're earning $80,000, $85,000 per year. This is probably the most that you will ever have, that you will ever get, because like I said, these guys are just monkeys, and we don't need to be paying eighty dollars to $85,000 to monkeys, especially when we can take a very talented manual tester not even making 70K. I've seen where manual testers are making like 40K and we take those guys because they're very talented. We teach them QTP and they can be doing the same exact job as you. So why would we be paying these guys twice as much when we can pay a manual tester 40K or even 70K at the best? This is the high range. This is, let's say, the low range. Why would we pay these guys more when these guys can probably do almost the same job, especially with a well-developed framework. We wouldn't. It doesn't make sense. But so, everything that we're teaching you guys now, let's say it takes you even like two years to learn everything. To, I wouldn't say master, but to watch all of our videos, understand everything that's going on, and include a little bit of practice in there. Okay, so... Okay, let's say to get from here to here, it takes you guys 24 months, two years. So let's say you just started as a manual tester, you get about a year's of experience and you're making 40K. And you spend that year learning, plus along the way you're learning QTP, and then a year after, 
you uh, have mastered all of our knowledge, you've went through all our videos, and you know exactly what's going on. At that point, you can probably start automating at your job. You can use either QTP or because you know automation methodology and VB script, you may start utilizing other tools. And as a result, at this point, you guys may probably be making about this much. Even though you have the knowledge, you just don't have the experience yet to be making too much money. So you're already far, far ahead of these guys and you're making as much as them. And furthermore, you have the job security because you know this, you know this, and you know this. You know a lot more than these guys, which are the guys that are seeking the quick code solutions. So now that you got to this knowledge, let's imagine you spend another one or two years, and now you have about four years on the job experience. At that point, I think you guys are probably the top 85% of the QTP automation engineers. Maybe top 80%, top 85%, somewhere in there. There are some really amazing guys, and there are those that four years of you guys doing this every day, you guys will be at the top of your game. And so let's imagine 24 months, you guys are making this. Now let's imagine after 24, 48 more months, these numbers it may get a little crazy. You could easily be making 70 to $100 per hour. And this is after, let's say, 48 months. 48 months of knowledge, guys, you will get to this point of making 70 to $100 per hour. Now, keep in mind, this is kind of contracting numbers. If you're making a salary, it's lower because you have to take into account 401ks, dental plans, you know, health insurance, all that kind of stuff. And when you're doing contracting, you get paid a lot more to compensate for that. Now, how amazing is it to go from here to here in, let's say, 48 months? And now, I'm considering these are very tough 48 months. You got to be at the top of your game to make this kind of money. But even if you're not at the top of your game, guys, you'll be making this kind of money. And that's still pretty fantastic in two years to double your salary. Most people dream of this kind of salary. To me, this kind of salary is a joke. That's something when somebody offers me that, I don't even answer. Now, if you're at the top of your game and you're earning this, how amazing would you feel? And you just spent four years learning something and making this kind of a salary. Now, I just want to show you guys something else, that I'm not really lying about these salaries, that they really are possible, that I'm not just exaggerating. Let me pull up a website for you guys.